Don Giovanni is one of the more familiar pieces, it's one of the most produced operas in the entire canon. For many people, Don Giovanni is an especially dark piece. I mean, it's called a drama giocosa, which means a, you know, a, a comedy drama, a dramedy, I guess you would have to say. And that often implies that it's a mix, that it has a, a comic elements and then very serious ones. And I like to think it's, it's both things at once. These incredible moments of pure comedy and, and even joy in s certain instances are contrasted so directly with these horrifying events in a way that's really startling, upsetting, and informative for an audience. We laugh and then really have to take a second and realize, oh my gosh, what are we laughing at? Because it's presented in a way that disarms us, because it allows us to laugh at this situation, it leaves us vulnerable to the power of what this moment is trying to say. It's fantastic. For me, the key moment in Don Giovanni and the storytelling it comes very, not at the end, but just about at the end. Often we look for, for turning points midway or, or uh, beyond in a, in a piece of storytelling. But in this one, because it's about finality, because it's about the end results of everybody's actions, the most important moment comes at the end of the opera when the title character refuses to change. And here's another thing that's counterintuitive. You know, directors and actors, we always want the character to have an arc, a journey. How are you transformed from the beginning of the opera to the end? But some of the biggest archetypal characters and the most important ones for us to learn from and to be entertained by are the ones who refuse to change. I'm thinking of Carmen as an excellent example. And Giovanni as well, he is who he is. He exists purely for his own pleasure. He exists for us as a viewing audience as a cautionary tale. He refuses to change, like we mustn't refuse to change, and he is dragged to hell, uh, unrepentant for even one second about what he has caused, the chaos and the disruption and the ruination of other people's lives. He doesn't care. We have to.